What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I'm going to be reviewing a windproof arc lighter made by the company Tesla Coil Lighters. So this is a USB rechargeable windproof arc lighter, also sometimes referred to as a plasma lighter. These are the ones where you see kind of what looks like a little taser, uh, like kind of like electricity, and it uses electricity to light pieces of paper or cigarettes or whatever you want to light on fire as opposed to a flame. So this item sells for about $25 on Amazon and I'll put some links down below on where you can get it for yourself. And the one I have is black and silver but it comes in a bunch of different colors. And then this is the little micro USB charging cable right here. This is really good because it's not a disposable, it is a rechargeable so you can use it as many times as you want. You don't got to go out and get lighter fluid or get a new lighter. This one is going to save you a lot of money in the long run. And then we have like a little warning slash instruction paper right here. And then the lighter itself comes in this little cloth carrying case, although I probably won't use it that much because I'm just going to keep the lighter in my pocket the way it is. And feeling it, it does feel like it has a nice solid metal construction. It weighs about three ounces, so it has some good weight to it. It does feel very nice and it feels like solid. It doesn't feel lightweight at all. So looking at the lighter, it has that one button on the side and you hold that down in order to activate that little electrical arch. It's kind of like a purplish color and I'll show you guys that in a couple of moments. There's the lid on the top that you flip open and then on the very bottom there's a little port, a micro USB port for that charger. And flipping this open, I'm going to hold down the button to see if it is charged and it is. So they ship it out with some charge in it so you can use it right out of the box. One important thing to note here is that the lid only opens as far as you guys see me opening it right here. I do believe that is a safety feature and if I had to guess, that's probably to stop it from opening up far enough where you'd be able to use this thing kind of like a taser and hold it up against somebody. It does seem like that opens up just far enough to stop you from being able to actually push this up against somebody and electrocute them. And you can see that that electrical arc is going from end to end and you would insert either a piece of paper or a cigarette on there and once it makes contact with that little electrical arc it'll light it on fire and that's basically the whole concept of this It's very simple so I'm gonna move on to an outdoor test here and I'm gonna test out burning a couple of things I'm not a cigarette smoker so I don't have any cigarettes on hand I'm gonna start with some cardboard and an important thing to note is that it's a bit windy out right now too, so that's going to be a nice test of that windproof feature. They call this a windproof arc lighter. And right away you can see it is burning it and you can see some orange flame coming up there. It's hard to tell but this is catching on fire and the wind is kind of putting out the flame a bit. But if I blow on it a little bit I can get that fire going nice and easy. So it is lighting the cardboard immediately, that's very good. One thing to note as well is that it kind of makes a little electrical buzzing noise when you hold down the button and the arc is produced. It does that always. This lighter is not 100% silent. None of these arc lighters are. There is like a little electrical buzzing noise with all of these arc lighters that you should know about. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the video. And it lights paper just fine. This is normal 8x11 printer paper and it lighted it lit that right away. So, so far the burning results are good. I'm going to try out a little, a little candle right here, a brand new one, and see how well it lights. So, with this candle right here, it is proving a little bit tricky to find just the right angle here, because you do have to have that wick of the candle actually go inside of the arc. So, it will work because this candle is so flat, I'm able to do it, but if this candle was like recessed inside a glass container, I would have a very hard time actually making contact with the arc and the wick because of the way that 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 lid that safety lid sits on there but it does like these little i believe they're called tea candles it lights those just fine because those are so small and flat and i had good success with that now the wind doesn't really seem to be playing too much of a factor here and i'm going to try relighting the cardboard a little bit but like I said, that lid will get in the way of some things. If I had a big candle, one of those like deep candles where it's glass and the wick is down low inside the candle, I don't think I'd be able to light that because of the way that lid is on there and it doesn't open all the way. I want to give you guys a close-up shot of what it looks like when the arc actually begins to burn stuff. And I'm not entirely sure if the best method is to 
start it first and then put the object in or put the cardboard in and then start it but I'm gonna guess it's probably best if you get the electrical arc going first and then you insert the object that's probably the best way to do it but I'm not sure and one thing I'm noticing here which I want to give you guys a better look at is that as the wind picks up it really begins to affect that arch a bit and although they advertise this as windproof you guys saw that the arch looked very um, perfect and uninterrupted when I was indoors but if I try to do it out here when the wind really starts get getting um, getting stronger it kind of throws that electrical arch arc all around and the buzzing noise really um, becomes more high-pitched and louder and you can tell that it's struggling to make that electrical connection and that the wind is playing a factor in that so I'm gonna kind of use this to move on to the reviewing aspect and I wouldn't necessarily call this a wind proof lighter because I don't have a ton of wind in that situation but the wind was definitely affecting the lighter I would call this more of a wind resistant lighter I definitely think that this would hold up better than a traditional lighter in a windy situation but from the demonstration I just provided you guys it isn't completely windproof and windy conditions can affect this lighter as well now with that being said I still think this is a really cool concept that will save you a lot of money throughout a lifetime because this doesn't require butane or lighter fluid or it doesn't require you to buy more disposable lighters this simply requires charging and the Amazon page says that one charge can get you I believe it is 100 to 300 uses and it can last up to a week so that's pretty good I mean that's that's a good amount of time for I don't it doesn't exactly say how long you're supposed to charge it but I assume maybe an hour or two a couple of hours and this also comes with a one-year limited warranty from the Tesla company Tesla coil lighters so overall I'd probably rate this one at maybe an eight and a half or even a nine out of ten I thought it felt very durable like something that will last over time it definitely functioned well even though it wasn't 100 percent windproof and I liked all the different color options the price was good I like this product a lot and I think it's a really cool concept and I think that Tesla coil lighters did a very good job of making this product so I'll put some links down below on where you can find one for yourself if you guys found this review helpful in any way at all hit that like button down below and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button for more amazing reviews just like this and as always guys thank you for watching from XM 360